welcome to another Leeds Magnets video. Um, the intro, just before we start, I got asked a question um, on the video from last week. And it was all about um, <clears throat> why we put the two guns um, in the car. One of the things that the police did say is that um, because they didn't have any barrels on them, um, they were deemed non-urgent, as they call it, and it could have been up to six hours before they came out. But they did plead with us a little bit and they rang me three times um, to take these um, two pieces that we had, obviously Leo's and Andy's, round to um, Stretford Police Station. Stretford Police Station was about two minutes round the corner and I did stipulate that I was unhappy um, having them in the car. Um, obviously if I got stopped and that, but it did put on the log um, that my vehicle reg and stuff like that and they were tra getting transported so that was quite nice of them um but anything to help we know they're busy um but yeah brilliant brilliant day and um some fantastic comments but get it as the finds from last week um awesome day like i say um obviously can't show you the shotgun pieces be nice to bring them home but i'm afraid because they had triggers and firing pins, it's a no-no. So, uh, fishing lure time. Let me tell you that, it's a bit black, but nice little thing. Can't remember who got that out. Uh, spinner, all black, rusted, dilapidated. We'll keep that anyway. Got that out, ball. Um, thought it would be a bit of a canister shot or something like that. It's not, it's one of them balls you find in the uh, mouses, on the laptops or computers. Um, been that. Oh, bit of good news as well. Um, Andy did with the mobile phone that he got out with the, um, excuse me, which I'm going to show you. In fact, I'll show you now. This was the mobile phone. Um, it doesn't look in bad, Nick, but what a damage it's been in there for some time. We actually got hold of the lad. I found him. On um, Facebook, um, and this is the envelope. I'm going to post off to him. I haven't put the address on it yet. Um, it's got his driving license in, um, and he's couldn't believe how he lost it. Um, he'd been partying, um, fell in the canal, phone, driving license, and his um, COVID 19 ticket that's in the back, as you might just see it there. Um, Michael, they call him. Um, so, yeah, he's very, very pleased. He doesn't want the phone back. Um, buggered, he'll be knackered, water damaged. So, that one Andy's find. It does look in good nick, but it's it's absolutely worthless. So, I am going to bin that. I know his SIM card's still in there. Um, I'm not even going to open it. I'm just going to fire it in the bin, um, as requested by him. So, there we go. But, bit of good news for us and we'll get that posted out first thing on Monday morning for him um, Monday or Tuesday should I say uh, lighter bin bit of a security key or a locker key uh, or a bike key something but we'll bin that one spoon teaspoon bin bit of a I, I know what they call these but I can't remember um, we use them uh, like safety clips. Um, no good to me. We'll bin that one. Nice. Looks like a piece of bar to you. If I just turn it a little bit thin and fat, thin and fat. Lovely square nail. Um, brilliant. Them in white vinegar. They come up absolutely pristine. That's not. Looks like it's not been in there long. So I don't know where that's from actually. Drill bit. Bin. Got a rake of these out, cogs um, inside, got all the ball bearings. Um, this one's obviously rusted up to eyeballs. I think we had about 10 out. So we'll bin that. Corkscrew time. We've had a couple of them out lately. Um, all bent, dilapidated. Bin. One of the old um, security keys, what they use on the side of the canals. Um, Right sort after these things are, um, they open the little boxes and 
we've been asked quite a few times, oh, have you got any lock keys? But have you got any of these small ones? So I'm going to keep that. We'll take it with us, leave it in the box. If any of them come past, give them. I know they. I think they're only about five, ten pound each, but we find them, they lose them, give them back. So we'll leave that there. Padlock time. The keys in it. Don't work. Um, keys just keep going round and round and round. So we'll round that one straight in the bin. Nice battery, Makita, um, 18 volt, shame, I know how much they're worth them, they're a good, in England, pff, top of my head, some of them are about £70, so, shame, bin, saw blade, no big teeth all the way along there, we'll bin that, got the lock key out, as you can see, absolutely dilapidated. No point even trying to save that and give it away to one of the, the people. Worthless. I've been in there a long time. We'll bin that. Got the old power bank. Mobile phones, etc. Um, buggered. Bin. Hammer. I got this one out. Um, I'm going to recycle that. I've give it a bit of a clean. Still a bit rusty like a bit going to have that one I like to keep my old stuff got a couple of bracelets out um john dre's uh Starfield designs said to me they could be them arthritic bands um could be i'm unsure nice that one's got diamonds all the way around it be nice if got diamonds but no good to me i'm afraid bin that one the first one this is the second one see the little diamonds on the top of there so that does look like an arthritic band as well but cat do with them, I'm afraid. Bite lock time. I think little Leo got that out. He walked past with his can and went, bite lock. Bin. And last but not least was this one. Um, Andy's hammer, as you can just see the little notch there. These are roofing hammers. So I've um, Googled and found out. This one's quite an old one. Uh, wooden shaft quite long as you can see um, obviously got the two prongs at the top um, absolutely mint and they're not cheap so in fact they've got one at the top as well you can just see the little groove there little nail head there um, so I'm going to keep that I might get a new shaft for it um, quite weighty so I think we'll have that one we'll have that one as well so and that's it that's the finds so thank you for watching hope you enjoyed the video this video is going to be absolutely mint um unbelievable day again um just we just seem to be picking some of the spots now where we're just getting um some really really excellent finds this video is personally um one of the best ones we've had this year um a lot of people might not think so but we do um, a lot better than last week's so please enjoy leave a comment thumbs up click the notification bell and like and subscribe it's up to you catch you guys later and a very good morning to you one and all we are out magnet fishing again got the boys with us today as you can just see this behind me there leo's almost started there's Riley, and he's just sorting out his magnet and he's grappling up. Um, excellent, excellent day we had last week. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed this video. We've got a couple of places to do. We are over in Rochdale today. So let's get these yeah. magnets wet. Let's see if we can get out for you guys. Thank you for the lovely comments as well about the bullet. Um, card picker one. Um, Give me some really good information about the bullet that Andy had got out. So, yeah. Thank you for the lovely comments as per usual and the information and the messages. Let's get back on. Leave you with the boys. Oh, part of a fishing alert. Competition this week. Me and uh, Riley versus Andy and Leo is cutlery. Knives, forks, spoons. So that's who's going to win today. Where's me and you?
tin lid, throat cutter, possibly, and scrap metal. Put the camera down because little Leo's got a fishing lure. Nice little fishing lure. Have a look. Nice white and blue one. Nice. Put it in bucket bed. I've just said yes, I'm out magnet fishing at the moment. So. Pen it. Do that click. And scrap. Oh, and a battery. Give William something to clean. <laughs> the phone and license um, that Andy got out last week, I've been trying to get hold of this guy. We've actually, I've actually managed to get hold of him um, via Facebook. Um, so later on, um, he will obviously see this until next week, but later on I'm going to try and send him a picture. Um, he sent me his date of birth just to make sure. Um, so I can check before I get home. So hopefully we've found the guy with his mobile phone and his um, driving license. So nice one on that one. I'll leave you there, down back down there. And we have a bottle cap and a lighter. Ryan thought he had a gun, but he didn't. He's got a the key as well. That guy's got a baby phone. This is a bit close for people to see it. So guys found a fishing lure. Well, got no idea what that is. Uh, in the bucket for William. Some sort of Dracula stake. It is metal. Good murder weapon. And this week's competition, picked by them two, Knife's Fork Spoons Cutlery. And I've got a fork. One nil. First knife of the day, that means it's one all on the competition. Dan, I'm not finding anything. Alright. Oh, we just got fishing rod out. Absolutely mint. I know it's a bit black and dirty, but the uh, reel works on it alright perfectly well. It's going over me that. Nice. Pure hard drive. Ray Raymond wheel. Have a watch. This in the strap. Nice. I know. Size of that baby. Very nice. <laughs> Been here that long. This is my first penny. I'm amazed. So happy. Little Jurassel. And I tried number two. Boom. Now, I think that's burner phone number two. Riley got one out. There's my old Nokia. Missing the SIM, missing the battery. Oh shit. William.
Oops. Nice find though. Well, it's on but Andy goes and does it again. Eight throw, and he goes and pulls that out. I'm just going to have a look at it. I can see bullets just in that side there. So murder weapon. There we go. Be careful. It is cocked. The safety stuck on. So, have a look. You just see on the side. You see, eh? See the bullets still in it. Well, police will be called for that one, but still a nice find. First time we've ever done it. We, oh, did, it? we did a spot last week. We ended up, ended up finding two shotguns last week. Just not far away. That's all right. Well, I need to let you uh, deal with it. They explained everything. To you. They have obviously bullets in it and whatever else. So. Safety bar, could it make it safe? Yes. We were rather right digit, through. so I just put it straight in the box and left it. It's like it's had a barrel explosion as well. Yeah, well, thought that when he pulled it out. Okay, cool. Got to get firearms down to. Um, so. No, Dad. It's a big thing. Yeah. set of handlebars. They're quite nice. Two. Bag on the floor. There's some fines in there. Deck chair. Forgot what it was then. Looks about penny. Telephone number three. Cheater. As you've just seen, I've just brought one phone down, another chuck, I've just got another phone out. Absolutely amazing, I think that's four we're on now today so far. We now have a spinner. Back you up a bit. Pair of headphones. Yeah. Your bag's gone, it's there. We got two P fishing lure and another hard drive. I think that's about three or four today. Doing well on the hard drives and the old mobile. Yeah. I got fishing lure out. Yeah, you were supposed to talk to the camera, babe, so they could see it. Like what? Show you. Walk up to the camera. So, nice fishing lure spinner from Little Leo. Nice colours. There you go. There you go. Got fishing lures again today. Look at that beast. Go down. Yeah, right. I've got one. Now you got one now. A penny. Got a washer. And another fishing lure. Look at that baby. Ooh, beautiful. Yeah. And I've got the rocket launcher. Yeah. Got the bazooka. The firing handle there, 
Yeah. Pitchy. Good murder weapon. I'll drive and just see at the back there. We'll see scenes of crimes. Come to pick the gun. As you can just see there, that police car there is scenes of crimes. Armed response, normal police. Been here quite a while. Been here quite a while. Every time I want to talk, there's not somebody butt in. But, yep, they're still here. They've just got the forensics now to come and do the, um, the gun. Because they're thinking there might be some kind of DNA fingerprints because the bullets are still in there, blah, 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 blah. And it's quite a nice gun. So, there we go. Now, I I'm going to... I found a spinner. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna... Ah. Turn you back round to Andrew. There's Andrew and little Leo's just there. I'm just gonna go over with him now. They've got a bit of tubing. Spinner number one. And double bubble. Spinner number two. So I've just got that out um, to you. Just looks like a piece of metal to me. That is looks like a canister shot. Um, very crude looking. So we'll give that a bit of a clean up. Have a look at that. Fishing there. And Andy's got a cash box out, and we've still got the police here. Let's see what we've got inside. Yeah, I'll do one of them for a while. Full of mud. What a surprise. Still a find. It's got to get cleaned and repurposed. Nice little picker. Very good. Oh, so was it. Something. That's why I thought it was. There's no thread on the bottom. Go through there. No, 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 yeah, true. Yeah. Bolt goes through there. I thought, I thought it was. I don't know what you're trying to say. I just said a bit of truth. I just think it might be done for. Sunny day, right guys, we are done. Absolutely brilliant day. Police are still here. I can't turn you around because I've just been told I'm not allowed. Don't know why, but just had a nice chat with us. Um, told us that they come one live, um, four spent rounds and one live round in it. So, yeah, we did obviously the right thing calling them out, getting them to sort it out for us. So, there we go. Say bye. Bye. Say bye, Andrew. Bye. Don't forget, stick a thumbs up. Like, subscribe, leave us a message, we always answer them. Click that notification bell. And we're going to catch you guys later. Bye.